Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I have a collective haul. I have things from Tuesday morning. I have things from the Dollar, the Dollar Tree, um, Target, and Walmart. I'm getting prepared to start making my Easter and spring themed junk journals so I needed some items to add to that and so I went uh, I had a day with my friend Crystal, happy to plan, and we did some thrift store shopping, and then we also went to some of the other stores, the other craft stores, to find things for junk journals. So first off, I wanted to show you the things I found at Tuesday morning. These are actually for me. As you know, I have a cat, and I love cats. They are my favorite animal. I also have a dog, too, and I love, well, I love all animals, but... Cats are my favorite, and so I found these and just thought they were super cute. So I'm going to use those in my paper crafting and my cat junk journal, whatever, but they're just adorable. And then I found this paper pad. It's from Authentique, one of my favorite paper collections. And this one is called Imagine, and it has sort of a carousel theme, but is vintage, really shabby beautiful double-sided paper and this paper is this has like a shiny kind of texture to it or not a texture but a finish but super pretty What's this has the horses there it's kind of I guess I that one's going backwards there. <laughs> Upside down. Here is a cut apart page. Really cute. And if you've never seen authentic papers, they have a real vintage feel to them. And that's what I love about that. About the collections. There's that one. A lacy pattern. Oh, I guess these are the repeats. Or I already went through that. Let's see. Let's go back here. Oh, those are repeats. So there are two of each of those. And this probably has 24. It's a, one of the thinner pads. But this one was $5.99. There. And then I picked up this, oh, that's the sticker sheet. It is a Happy Easter. And this one is Echo Park. And it was $5.99 as well. Super cute. It has all these papers up here. And then it has cut aparts. And then the sticker sheet on the back. With the lettering and the border strip. Really cute. So I'm not sure if I'll use, I think I'll just use this in my regular paper crafting, not junk journals. I'm not sure, um, but maybe in my planner. So yeah, super cute. And then at the Dollar Tree, I picked up some ribbon. They had lots of fun Easter ribbons. These really cute thin ribbons that have a silver edging on them, but I picked up the purple, like a lavender, a light blue, and a light pink, and these all have five yards, so that's really good. Usually the ribbon has uh, three yards on them, but since it's thinner, it has more on it. And then I picked up three colors of their glitter. And these are just the three yards, the nine feet. And then I picked up this one that says Happy Easter. And then this one that has the gold dots. And then one of their basic cream colored lace. So that's always nice to have in the junk journals. And then I picked up, we actually my friend Crystal and I picked up each picked up two different paper uh, paper napkins, the Spring Fling collection, and 
then we split them. So there's this one that's really pretty. These napkins are super cute because they have the scalloped edge on them. And so there's this one with the butterfly and then this one that has the blue roses. And then this is actually the same as that other butterfly, but it's the opposite side. So we didn't realize that when we bought it. But there's that one with the pink butterfly and then this one that has pink roses. So those are really pretty. I'll use some of these in my junk journals. And then I was at Target and this was in the regular stationery set. This was $5 and it is there. Usually for every holiday they have a bucket of cardstock stickers and this one is the spritz for Easter. And I'll go ahead and open it because it's hard to see what the stickers look like. And these have really cute ones in here for Easter. Just super adorable. And Crystal, if you're watching this video, I am going to share some of these with you because I will never use this whole entire thing of stickers. They are super adorable. There's glitter on them too. But these will be great for my Easter junk journals to add a little decoration to them. And nice to use in the planner or just in regular paper crafting. These will be nice to make uh, embellishments just to use as more dimension on your little embellishments or to make Easter cards. So that's what they basically look like. I don't need to go through all of them. And then at Walmart, they have their new spring fat quarters out and I love picking up the fat quarters because usually you don't want to buy a whole yard and it's pretty much the same price if you just buy a quarter yard of their yardage fabrics but I just like to pick up the the fat quarter and I can usually get two books out of this so this is a really cute bunny pattern and then I have a duck little golden book junk journal that I'm going to make for my Easter collection and so I found this duck ribbon and it's by Ofre. And then finally at Walmart I picked up this Easter card game set and it is in all of the Easter basket little goodies. But there's two pack two card games in here. And these I will use to stick in like little tuck spots in my junk journals. And they're super cute. Crazy Eights and Bunnies, and they have different pictures on them. So I'll pull them out here. So the back all looks like this, like for this particular game, but then each of the different cards has a different picture. So there's the bunny, and then an egg, little chick, and that. And then, let's see. For this one, that side is, looks like that, and then here's the bunny again, another little girl bunny. So these are all bunnies, but different, four different ones. So I thought those were really cute, and I left this one out. It is a really cute gold egg. Uh, ribbon from the Dollar Tree as well. So that is what I found for this week guys for my Easter junk journals. I will put the link for my Etsy shop down below if you want to follow me and favorite my shop then you'll find out whenever I put some new things in my shop. I have little tiny Teletail junk journals. They're about four by four so I'm just about done with those so I will put those in my shop here pretty soon. And then I will also have another haul, a vintage crafty haul coming up soon from when we went to our thrift stores. And I found lots of fun things for my junk journals there. So if you want to 
subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. I will see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality. Bye. God bless.